Welcome to Agenda Edina, a program summarizing the actions taken at City Hall that affect you most. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has added the Highway 100 and County Road 3 groundwater plume to the national priorities list, ensuring the cities of Edina and St. Louis Park have a permanent solution to groundwater contamination. The EPA and Minnesota Pollution Control Agency have mandates to go after the sources of contamination and make them pay for cleanup or compensate for treatment. St. Louis Park has one such contaminated site and the plume or area of contaminants from it stretches into part of Edina through an aquifer more than 300 feet below ground. Since trace contamination first appeared in an Edina well in 2000, the city has taken steps, including installation of a sophisticated treatment system to remove the chemical contamination. The treatment keeps the water safe to drink and use, exceeding all federal and state standards. Edina treats its entire water supply and filters most wells to ensure any contaminants are removed. Treatment can be costly, but is vital to ensure the safety and quality of drinking water. The city of Edina is working to hold accountable those responsible for the contamination. Providing a potable water supply to residents is one of the most important things that a city government does. Um, it ranks right up there along with fire protection, police protection, snow plowing, city elections, etc. We can't live in a tight urban environment like we live in without a dependable uh, water supply. And so, yeah, the, the integrity of our water is very important to us and so we say over and over, that uh, even though we are dealing with this issue, our water is safe to drink, safe to use in every way. The National Priorities List serves as basis for prioritizing EPA Superfund cleanup funding and enforcement actions. Only releases at sites included on the list are eligible to receive federal funding for long-term permanent cleanup. Several small businesses in Edina are taking advantage of an emergency assistance program after suffering losses due to the pandemic. Money from the Federal CARES Act is helping business owners keep the lights on and doors open. Edina TV shows you how they're adapting to a new way of business. For the first time in seven years, indoor tables and chairs sit unused at Nakamori Japanese Bistro. At the beginning, everybody scared. When this Edina restaurant was forced to close in March due to the pandemic, a staff of 10 were out of work, and $20,000 in fish had to be thrown away. We still have need to pay the, the, the renting fees. We still need to pay all the utility things. It would be two weeks before they could sell to-go orders. And six months later, the seats inside are still stacked away. Yet, the phone keeps ringing. Actually, we are lucky because we are pretty good for the to-go things at the beginning. Uh, every day we got a lot of the phone calls from the customer just to check, oh, are you opening or can you do like a to-go? So yeah, we survive. <laughs> In May, the city worked to provide emergency assistance to small brick and mortar businesses that were struggling. A forgivable loan administered through the Edina Housing and Redevelopment Authority. And we rank them based on their need, based on their size, and based on how much they were hurting. Um, uh, ultimately, when we ranked the businesses, uh, there was a tie. So we ended up funding 11 businesses, and each got a forgivable loan of $9,000. It was money that could be used to pay the bills, as many businesses looked for a new way to connect with customers. It's not going to save the world, uh, but what we're hoping is that it can save the day. You know, Ooh, I like that nice. one. Yeah, it's for my dad. The owner of local yarn store, Harriet and Alice, found a new pattern for bringing in revenue, mm -hmm. online knitting lessons and curbside pickup. We were down 80% um, um, in sales in the month of April. All right, you're all set. If you can't see what you're, you're getting or feel what you're getting, it's really hard for people to want it. Boxes of yarn ordered in the winter kept arriving. 
the loan from the city of Edina really allowed me to pay for yarn that was coming and in the mail and I couldn't stop. Customers are returning, thankful to spin yarn again. Without this business, I don't know how I would have made it through COVID, so. A second round of emergency assistance will support 40 additional small businesses this fall. This time, federal CARES Act dollars are being used. The application deadline was at the end of August. We want these businesses to be here today, here tomorrow, and here next year. So if these funds can help pay the rent a little bit more while they're struggling uh, to get customers back in the door, that's our hope and that's our goal, is to keep the businesses in businesses to serve us. The manager of Nakamura Japanese Bistro says business is good now. It's really helped us a lot because at the beginning we don't know like oh, what's going on for the business, um, how could we survive. A little financial relief during uncertain times to help the businesses that make a community thrive. I'm Dan Carpenter for Adina TV. You can learn more about local businesses open today by visiting exploreedina.com. Edina Mayor Jim Hovlin recently presented six mayor's commendations to outstanding volunteers and service organizations in the community. Mayor's commendations are typically presented in the spring at a volunteer recognition reception. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the 2020 reception was canceled. Instead, Hovlin surprised each of the winners earlier this summer. Hi, Steve. Hi, Sarah. Steve and Sarah Kumagai, longtime members of the Edina A Better Chance Foundation Board of Directors, and Melody Zhao. Oh, my goodness. Principal of the Minnesota International Chinese School were presented Mayor's Individual Service Commendations. The Minnesota International Chinese School was given the Mayor's Service Organization commendation for its COVID-19 response in the community. You have been just a superb resident of our community. Skip Thomas, a longtime volunteer youth athletics coach and volunteer for Meals on Wheels, Edina Chamber of Commerce, Rotary Club of Edina, and Christ Presbyterian Church was recognized with the mayor's outstanding senior commendation. And this is a service to youth commendation. Twelve girls on the junior varsity board of Her Next Play, a nonprofit with a mission to develop the next generation of women leaders through sports, were given mayor's youth commendations. Last to be surprised with an award was the Edina Meal Fund organizers. The Edina Education Fund and Edina Give and Go were presented the mayor's commendation for service to youth, for coming together to raise money for families in need with dinners and weekend food during the pandemic. So over the years that I've been the mayor, uh, what I've noticed is that our town is filled with people that want to use their time as philanthropists. So these uh, philanthropic folks are, have been involved in all kinds of activities. And once a year, we've been able to recognize all those volunteers and every organization. Particularly this year, I think in this challenge that we have from a public health standpoint, to be able to recognize people who have really stepped up and served their community in a, in a special way was, was really enjoyable. Mayor's commendations will be presented again in the spring of 2021. The City of Edina continues to monitor the spread of the novel coronavirus and is working hard to keep those who live and work here informed about COVID-19. Please visit edinamn.gov slash coronavirus for the latest updates or sign up to receive City Extra emails or text messages. Thank you for watching this episode of Agenda Edina. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty.